the International Space Station is approaching the end of its operational life, prompting various organizations to compete for the opportunity to succeed it. Among the contenders, four space stations emerge as the most promising candidates to take its place. Let's discover who they are. The four candidates chosen to discuss today are based on two criteria, their potential to succeed the ISS and their capacity to revolutionize space exploration. Let's start with the first contender, SpaceX. For those unaware, SpaceX is not only dominating space launches and planning missions to the Moon and Mars, but it's also working on building its own space station. Surprisingly, this space station will be constructed using starships. Yes, the same spacecraft designed for interplanetary missions, at first glance, using Starship as a space station might sound unconventional, but it's actually a well-suited choice. Starship was originally designed to carry hundreds of passengers on extended journeys to Mars, meaning it already includes advanced life support systems that meet the requirements of a space station. One of Starship's standout features is its construction material, stainless steel. Unlike other materials commonly used in spacecraft, stainless steel is highly durable, resistant to corrosion, and capable of withstanding the harsh conditions of space, including extreme temperatures and micrometeoroid impacts. This makes it ideal for long-term use in orbit. Additionally, stainless steel is relatively easy to maintain and repair compared to more complex materials, further increasing its suitability as a space station building block. So, how would SpaceX turn Starship into a space station? The concept involves reviving a long-forgotten but visionary design, a rotating wheel space station. Instead of a single Starship, SpaceX plans to link multiple Starships in a circular formation that rotates about its axis. This rotation would create artificial gravity, addressing one of the key challenges of long-term space habitation, microgravity. Unlike the ISS, which operates in a microgravity environment, a rotating station could simulate Earth-like gravity, mitigating health issues like muscle atrophy and bone density loss that astronauts experience in weightless conditions. Imagine a giant parking lot in outer space where each car is a starship. The modular nature of this design offers unparalleled flexibility. If any Starship module requires maintenance or upgrades, it can simply undock, return to Earth for refurbishment, and rejoin the station later. This design not only ensures efficiency, but also leverages Starship's reusability, a hallmark of SpaceX's cost-cutting approach. Moreover, building a space station using Starships could significantly reduce the cost of orbital infrastructure. SpaceX is rapidly decreasing launch costs, and Starship's massive capacity to host hundreds of passengers opens up possibilities for a wide range of uses, from scientific research to commercial ventures and even space tourism. The prospect of affordable access to space could transform it from an exclusive domain of astronauts to an opportunity available to ordinary people. Imagine booking a trip to a Starship space station— staying in one module, and using another as a transportation vehicle. Of course, technical challenges remain, and questions about feasibility persist. However, SpaceX has consistently pushed the boundaries of what's possible in aerospace. The Starship Space Station represents a bold and groundbreaking idea, blending ingenuity with practicality. Its potential to transform space exploration and redefine human presence in orbit makes it one of the most compelling concepts in the race to succeed the ISS. Now, when discussing space stations in the context of SpaceX, it is essential to bring up Blue Origin's Orbital Reef. While not exclusively Blue Origin Space Station, Orbital Reef is a collaborative project developed in partnership with Blue Origin Sierra Space and several other companies. This space station, unlike SpaceX's theoretical and futuristic designs, is grounded in the capabilities of current technologies, making it a more immediate and practical venture. One of Orbital Reef's major strengths is its modular design, which allows for maximum customization and compatibility. It is designed to be capable of docking with a wide range of operational spacecraft, including SpaceX's Dragon 2, Soyuz Dream Chaser, and Boeing Starliner. This flexibility ensures a broad range of commercial and governmental customers. Among its various modules, 
Orbital Reef includes inflatable modules that will help reduce launch mass and simplify construction. These inflatable modules also make it possible to create large volume modules that would be difficult or impossible to achieve with traditional rigid structures. Sierra Space is responsible for the development of these modules, and the company has already conducted safety tests on them, which is a promising sign of progress. Orbital Reef is envisioned as a commercial space station designed to support a variety of space-related activities. Its primary goals are to provide infrastructure for research, technology demonstrations, and serve as a destination for commercial customers. This includes enabling private industries to conduct manufacturing research and development and to participate in space tourism. Unlike the International Space Station, which is primarily focused on scientific research, Orbital Reef is expected to be a more comfortable and versatile environment with larger modules and large windows offering views of Earth. The station will provide a more enjoyable space experience. Additionally, it will have quarters designed for both personal and business use, creating a more comfortable living and working environment for its occupants. For transportation to and from Orbital Reef, Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket will be responsible for delivering the station's modules, while Sierra Space's Dream Chaser spacecraft will be tasked with carrying crew members. Although Boeing Starliner is also part of the plan, its recent performance issues may limit its involvement in the near term. Despite these challenges, the potential of Orbital Reef remains significant. Though progress has been slower than anticipated, most of the development milestones so far have come from Sierra Space, including the inflatable module and the Dream Chaser prototype. In addition to Orbital Reef, another exciting space station project is Starlab, a low-Earth orbit commercial space station under development by a joint venture between Voyager Space, Airbus, and several other partner companies. The Starlab project aims to provide a versatile and advanced space station for research and development, with an emphasis on accommodating astronauts and researchers in an environment that encourages innovation and discovery. The Starlab design includes a central inflatable habitat powered by state-of-the-art technologies developed by Lockheed Martin and enhanced by Airbus expertise in spacecraft and satellite development. This inflatable module significantly increases the available internal space compared to traditional rigid modules, creating a more efficient environment for experiments and crew comfort. The central core will be surrounded by solar arrays for energy generation and an array of docking ports to connect additional modules or visiting spacecraft. One of Starlab's standout features is its state-of-the-art laboratory facilities, branded as the George Washington Carver Science Park. This lab will support cutting-edge research in biology, physics, material science, and other disciplines. The facility is designed to accommodate experiments conducted by both government space agencies and private companies, fostering a collaborative ecosystem in space. It is especially tailored for microgravity research, allowing scientists to conduct experiments that are impossible or too costly to perform on Earth. Unlike the ISS, which is primarily operated by government entities, Starlab is focused on commercial accessibility. It aims to be a hub for scientific research, commercial manufacturing, and space tourism. The project's collaboration with Airbus also opens the door to international partnerships, making Starlab a more globally inclusive space station. With its innovative approach to modular design and its emphasis on scientific advancement, Starlab has the potential to become a significant player in the future of space exploration. Another contender in the race to replace the ISS is the Chinese Tiangong Space Station. Unlike the commercial space station concepts of SpaceX, Blue Origin, and Starlab, Tiangong is a government-operated facility developed and managed by the China National Space Administration, CNSA. The station's name, Tiangong, means Heavenly Palace in Chinese, and it serves as a testament to China's growing presence in space exploration. The Tiangong Space Station is designed as a modular facility, much like the ISS, and consists of a core module, Tianhe, flanked by two laboratory modules, Wentian and Mengtian. These modules are equipped with advanced research facilities for various scientific disciplines, including biology, medicine, and material science. 
The station also includes living quarters designed to accommodate three astronauts for extended missions, with the ability to host up to six astronauts during crew transitions. One of Tiangong's unique features is its focus on international collaboration. Despite being a national project, China has invited other nations to participate in scientific research aboard the station. Several experiments proposed by international researchers have already been accepted and are scheduled to be conducted aboard Tiangong. This openness marks a significant shift in China's approach to space exploration, fostering a spirit of global cooperation. The Tiangong Space Station is expected to remain operational for at least a decade, with plans to expand its capabilities over time. The station is already fully operational and hosting regular crewed missions, making it a serious contender as a replacement for the ISS. Each of these contenders, SpaceX's Starship Base Station, Blue Origin's Orbital Reef Star Lab, and the Chinese Tiangong, represents a different vision for the future of human space habitation. Whether through SpaceX's ambitious Starship concept, Blue Origin's commercial focus, Starlub's scientific innovation, or Tiangong's international collaboration, the next generation of space stations will shape the course of humanity's journey into the cosmos.